Hi guys, this is Vidas. And Dusha. Let's start episode 197 of Ask Vidas and Osha podcast. This question was sent by Irineo. And he writes, uh, thank you very much, Maestro. It was a delight hearing that sweet, inspiring organ work. I think, Osha, I... Um, he wrote me back after listening to some of our uh, pieces we played for Bach's birthday recital. I see. It, it might have been Bach's Pasakali or maybe your E flat major played on Fugue. If it's Maestro, then it's not E flat major. Exactly. He would write Maestra if yes. it's if, about you. Okay. So then he writes. He writes. Um, uh, well, about my organ playing, I regret to inform you it's been in the back burner for ages by now because of lack of interest down here. And besides, things have become real tough for almost everybody. But I still write a few bars every now and then about the lyrics of my piece, which I intend to eventually upload. Keep up the splendid work. And thank you again. Very truly yours, Irinia. So, the, I think he's struggling with um, sitting down on the organ bench. Yes. Because he loves to listen to, uh, to our conversations or to read about, about our discussions um, or uh, to listen to the pieces that, that we play. But... But then his practice, as he writes, is um, uh, delayed, postponed, because uh, because lack of interest down here, down down where he lives, probably, right? Could be. Uh huh. So maybe he has a situation uh, where he would love to practice, but since realistically he cannot apply his his practice to real life situation you know like pub, playing in public those pieces that he played at home then he doesn't feel so motivated to play at home at all could be what would you recommend Osha, stop playing or find some inner source of motivation well, if it's really important for you, if you really love organ, then you must, you know, keep playing and doing what you are doing. I wouldn't say that in Lithuania we have such a wonderful situation for organists. That, you know, we have big crowds during organ recitals or, you know, very high level, general level of, you know, church music. I would say quite an opposite, but it doesn't stop us from, you know, doing what we are doing. Uh, for example, our colleagues don't come to our recitals at all. Never, ever. Yeah. It would be a miracle. With a few exceptions, right? Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Our maybe closest friends. but Even when you play something new and something really excited and something that I really played, mm-hmm. and maybe this is the one time, you know, life opportunity to hear such a piece performed alive. You know, it seems like nobody cares. Exactly. And many, many, many graduates of, you know, organ studies in Lithuania, we stop playing at all. And that's it. Some of them work at churches, but not, not many of them. And those who do work at churches, only minority of them play what they learned at school. Yes. Um, or um, learn new repertoire. Yeah. Make themselves and then, better. You know, perform. They just get by, because yes, it is very unmotivating to to work in those situations, because the church um, leadership doesn't care if, if you play something new or not, if you play just a hymn or not. Yes, if you are a mediocre performer, performer, or you know you perform well, so. But uh, we are our artists, right? And artists, you know, make art, regardless if anyone is paying attention or not. Right, Osha? Yes, that's true. 
So the process is important. The result is out of our hands, maybe. Yes, we could uh, we could strive to put our art out there to out to the world, right? That's how we live. To not too many people in Lithuania share their process, share their art. But we decided to not to hide it, right, under the table. Yes. Uh, that's how Irineo could behave too. It doesn't mean that he has to, you know, limit himself with his own parish or his own town where nobody's paying attention. But you never know, maybe maybe people around the world will become interested or find something useful. And he's, he writes that um, he is interested in completing his... his uh, song and uploading it uh, on on the internet uh, and that could be a greater opportunity right Osha, to compose more pieces more regularly that's true yes to keep up this practice because we learn and we grow and we learn again that's true do you think it's very important for people that you know somebody would notice you and would see you not to encourage you to keep doing what you are doing? I think everyone needs attention. I, I haven't uh, met a person who doesn't need attention. Even even my dad who who said, oh no, I don't want you know to do any self-promotion and he he painted for decades, you know, without maybe anybody noticing him too much. Uh, but he would still be very happy if you know people came to his exhibitions or people came visit, visiting to his uh, workshop. Yes, that's true. That's okay. that's I think natural, normal, and nothing to be ashamed of. And those who say that, you know, no, I am so self-motivated, and I don't care if anyone is listening to me play or or something like that then they're just hiding something right they they're acting they, they have a mask maybe and actually they crave for attention but in another way so do you think it would be a good idea for Irinea maybe you know to start draw more attention to the organ to in the place where he lives Oh, that would be very natural. He could become a center of attention in his uh, town. Yeah, he would be- become um, like a, like a number one place to go for people who are interested in something new and you know unexplored. Um, he would become his own category because nobody will be doing this, and then he will not have any competition. And would you think that this attention would, you know, motivate him to practice more and to improve his organ skills? Mm, absolutely. He will see that other people are depending on him to show up, to to speak, to talk, to to present, to, to play, to demonstrate. So I think the least he could do is to go to local church and to go to local school and meet music music teachers if there are any and say that he could um, you know invite those kids to the organ loft and and arrange an organ tour and play an organ demonstration for half an hour and then ask and answer kids questions and let them play with uh, with a few uh, fingers or even with their feet that would be lo- unforgettable experience for everybody yes I think that's an excellent idea and if he would do that uh, re- regularly you know like once in a, once a month if for different kids groups then little by little he would uh, become a go to person in his town in his area um and of course, Osha, would you recommend him recording his own demonstrations and uploading to YouTube or or Music Coin or other um, 
places online like like D Sound. Sure, that way he would get even more attention and more listeners and more interest in the organ. Mm-hmm. And those places also pay you for for your um, music, so he could earn some additional revenue while sharing his work. True. Wonderful. Thank you guys for listening. We hope um, you understand how important it is to self-motivate yourself. And if nobody really cares about you, your art, then you make them care by finding other avenues. Mm -hmm. Not forcing them, but um, inviting them gently to go to an adventure together with you and kids and children are most uh, um, most eager to learn new things most curious yes because those you know, childhood impressions we are so important and maybe some of those kids would become an organist too and you will be you know the reason why why he or she decided to become an organist wouldn't that be great wonderful um, thank you guys uh, for for listening, for applying our tips in your practice, and for sending us those beautiful questions. They are really thought provoking, and we hope very useful to you. This was Vidas and Usha. And remember, when you practice, miracles happen. <laughs>